welcome back to FFL Boss Tutorials. Today we are going to be covering the FFL to FFL transfer process in our brand new 6.0 version. The way to accomplish this is by going either to Quick Transactions and selecting FFL to FFL transfer, or you can scroll down on the left hand side of the screen to transfers to FFLs. My personal preference is to use the Quick Transactions menu. Let's go ahead and choose FFL to FFL transfer. Once you've reached this point, all you have to do is select the dealer from your drop down list. And if that dealer is not there, just click this little plus button, click the FFL lookup button, and you can type in that company's name, their FFL number, their phone number, really any way that you find to be helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Sportsman's Warehouse. The next step is to click the items in the upper right hand, select the firearms that you're going to be transferring, you have a couple of ways to do this. You can either do a search for the serial number. If you have a range of serial numbers that you're going to add that are sequential, you can just do a start and an end, and it will calculate all of those serial numbers in between. With these three, I'm just going to click Add In Stock, and then click Add Transfer. Now, it is as simple as that. That transaction has been saved, and when we go to our Transfers to FFLs page, we see that those items have indeed been transferred and all information looks accurate. Now, if that dealer is utilizing FFL Boss, they will receive an internal network notification of that transfer. Same thing for you. If you buy guns from a dealer who is using FFL Boss, you too will get an internal transfer notification that will allow you to simply click on that and accept and save that information into the acquisition records. That pretty much wraps up the demo for FFL to FFL transfers. Again, thank you for using FFL Boss, your FFL software provider.